there are plenty of great options to take notes on your iPad. I've already compared and reviewed quite a few on this channel, but one has been on my radar for quite some time now. I'm John with Paperlike and today I'm taking a closer look at Note 12 3, one of the smaller but still very significant note-taking apps out there. Created in 2010, Note 12 has heavily evolved over the past decade. With the launch of Note 12 3 in August 2023, the app now offers a free version with a limit of three notebooks. Kind of like good notes. Well, if you don't take a lot of notes, this might actually be enough for you. But most likely, you'll need to purchase the app to get the most out of it. Available on various platforms, Note 12 is priced between $4.99 and $7.99. In dollars, that is. Unfortunately, you'll need to purchase a different copy for each operating system. And there is absolutely no way to sync between them. Yeah, I know, it's kind of a bummer that you can't sync what you have on your Android phone with your data on your MacBook, for example. However, if you own only Apple devices, it's possible to sync your data across all of them using iCloud. So that's a big plus. Note that for Apple users with Note Shelf 2 or any other previous version, you'll need to purchase Note Shelf 3 again, because it's not only an update, it's a completely different app. When Note Shelf 3 launched on Apple devices, you could see that the appearance and UI changed quite a bit when compared to Note Shelf 2. From adjusting the appearance of the app to changing the stylus you see, Note Shelf gives you the options to make your workspace completely your own. The app will automatically use your light dark settings as default, but you can change them in the options. To do that, you can go into Note Shelf's settings to change to either light theme or dark theme. You can also use the more button to change how you view your notes. Note Shelf allows you to sort your notes in a variety of ways, including date last opened, date modified, name, and custom. Like other note-taking apps, you can choose to see your notes in a list or a grid, but Note Shelf goes the extra mile and also allows you to differentiate between small and big notes. And this is a nice little customization feature that you won't find on any other app out there. Okay, first thing to know about note creation is that every note created in Note Shelf 3 is actually a notebook in disguise. As a good rule of thumb, if your note is visible from the main user interface, it's a notebook. And this includes scanned documents, imported images, or any other file type. It's a different kind of approach when compared to GoodNotes, for example, where every imported document is treated as a standalone file. Now, notebooks come with a ton of customization options. You can choose a variety of default cover designs, but it also allows you to customize it. You can write or doodle on the covers, and you can use your own photos or look for a photo on Unsplash, which is integrated into the app. There are a variety of default page templates built in, and you have access to a template gallery with hundreds more. And if you tab on templates on the sidebar, you'll access free designs and paper templates such as stickers, trackers, and so much more. Once you have a notebook, you can add pages, change the template of every single page without affecting the rest of the notebook. So let's say that in terms of customization, Note Shell 3 is right up there with the best apps on the market. Finally, one of the most satisfying features to use on Note Shelf 3, Quick Notes. These generate and open a notebook with a default white page so that you can start taking notes immediately. Yeah, it's pretty similar to what you'd find on Apple Notes. But remember, all notes created in Note Shelf 3 are notebooks, not a note. And Quick Notes are no exception to this rule. So when you create a Quick Note, you're actually creating a notebook. The only difference is that you won't be choosing a cover from the get-go. You can add one later in if you want to, but when the quick note is created, you'll see the first page as a thumbnail. Note Shelf 3 is designed to offer a thorough organizational structure. No, really, it's really quick and easy to find whatever you're looking for. You can create categories from the sidebar and then press and hold on to a notebook in the thumbnail menu to move the notebook to a specific folder. Similar to Notability, Note Shelf 3 won't allow you to create subfolders to your categories. Instead, what you can do is create groups, which in fact is just another intuitive way to sort your notes. Note Shelf 3 also allows you to use tags, and you can access any notes with tags pretty easily through the tags menu on the sidebar. 
Content view allows you to locate specific content like photos or recordings. This is actually a nice little addition. And you can also add bookmarks to specific pages in your notebooks by long pressing on the bookmark icon on the page. Okay, now moving notes in Nutshell 3 is fairly easy. You can either move your notebooks by dragging and dropping or using the edit menu. Here you select the notebook you'd like to move and tap on the move button. Noteshelf also comes with pretty good search capabilities. It will find anything in your scanned documents as well as in your typed and handwritten text. And that even if you have awful handwriting like I do. Okay, no big surprises here. Noteshelf 3 comes with all the usual suspects. It comes with three different pens and a pencil tool. Compared to the other pen options, the pencil stroke looks grainy, which will give your notes a little something else. And while all of the above are pressure sensitive, the pencil tool is the one where you will notice it the most. Each pen is fully customizable in color and size. Unfortunately, you only get slots for three different colors on the toolbar, which limits note takers like myself who like to have as many colors pre-selected as possible. Okay, before we move on, I have something else to say here. Even when using a specialized app like Nochelf 3, writing on the iPad's glass screen might not be for everyone. And let's be honest, Noteshelf actually does its best to account for this issue, but you can drastically improve the experience by using a screen protector by Paperlike. This will change the slick surface of your iPad into a texture that feels like real paper. It will help you with your stroke precision, with your grip fatigue, and just feel nicer. Because you'll feel a resistance kind of similar to what you feel when you write on paper. So yeah, I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, back to Noteshelf 3. The highlighter is also customizable in size and colors and comes in two styles, round and slanted. The eraser on the other hand comes with some advanced options. You can choose to erase entire strokes, pencil only or highlighter only. And these come really handy when you're trying to avoid turning a simple erasing exercise into a surgical procedure. Typing text is also possible, of course. Text boxes are easy to resize and formatting your text is intuitive and simple. And finally, the lasso tool allows you to modify your text, take screenshots, change the text color or size, and even convert handwritten notes to text. So yeah, handwriting conversion exists in Noteshop 3 as well. Now that we have all the basics out of the way, let me quick fire through some Pretty cool and unique features you'll find within Noteshelf. Starting with the zoom box, it's an actual lifesaver when you need to work with very small text. This is also a great way to get a close-up of existing text if you're parsing a document for notes, for example. An audio recording tool is available as well, although it doesn't sync with your written text like it does on GoodNotes or Notability, it's always a great tool to have. Document scanning and PDF annotation are great in Noteshelf as well. Presentation mode is a nice little feature. It allows you to share your screen via AirPlay or an external display. And it turns your app into a whiteboard. You can use a laser pointer to easily draw attention to any point on the screen or the pen tool to make live annotations. It's actually pretty cool. I would love to have this on more of the note-taking apps out there. Focus mode allows you to completely clear your screen of all toolbars and icons, except for this little one. This is great if you want to take notes distraction-free. While other apps let you add links to websites, Noteshelf 3's Web Clipper lets you bring this content directly into your notes. Now let's talk about the trending feature of the moment, which is Noteshelf AI. Similarly to other note-taking apps, Noteshelf AI can help you summarize, outline, translate, explain topics, and even generate notes in a blink of an eye. And that in your approximate handwriting, which is something that you would see on GoodNotes, for example. Okay, and now to our last point, backup and sharing. Noteshelf allows you to connect to various storage or backup options, including iCloud, Evernote, OneDrive, Google Drive, and Dropbox, for example. You can automatically backup your data to any of those third-party storage services, in addition to storing everything on iCloud as well. And I take this occasion to stress again to myself and to you guys that iCloud is really important if you wish to use 
no shelf on your MacBook, iPad, and iPhone. The downside is that unfortunately you cannot sync across ecosystems. As for sharing, no shelf gives you a ton of options, including current page, select pages, or all pages. You can share your documents as an image, as a PDF, or a Nochel file. You can also just share page template, for example. And once you've made those selections, you can choose a wide array of options to actually share your work. You can send through messages or airdrops, send to other apps, and so on. But it's important to keep in mind that this doesn't allow you to collaborate in real time in any shape or form. Instead, it's you giving access to your work to someone else, and that person can actually edit, but you won't see it on your app. Although NodeShelf is one of the smaller apps I've reviewed lately, recent updates have made the app into somewhat comparable to the major players on your app store. Plus, Nochoff has a YouTube channel and a blog with tons of support and news to help you make the best out of their app. I personally love the UI and some of its unique features like the web clipper or the Unsplash integration are just great. If you need a note-taking app that works on Android, on PC, on your Mac, on your iPad and iPhone, Nochoff may be the one you need. So yeah, bottom line, it's definitely worth a try. And this pretty much rounds up this video. I really hope this was helpful to you. Now, if you're looking to start taking notes on your iPad without spending a buck, you should definitely check out my latest video where I go through some of the best free or freemium options that you have on the App Store. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.